Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Collection Neo. It's me, Alex. Or should I be saying Collection Dinosaur? No, we are not rebranding the channel. I say we, there's only me. Um, but this is another Sideshow Dinosaur review. Um, don't worry, we will be getting back to anime and video games very soon. Sooner than you think. Uh, more of that on the end of the video. But today we do have Sideshow's Dinosauria. And this is the Mosasaur. And not the Momosaur, as I keep calling it for some reason. And um, this is the Mosasaur. Um, if people aren't um, aware of the Mosasaur, I am sure you are very much aware of the giant thing in the pool in Jurassic World that jumps out at the end, spoiler alert, and eats the Irex. Um, this is it. This is the Mosasaur. Um, it's basically a huge predator that lived in the water. Um, very, very large. I don't know much about it, and I'll be completely honest about you, I wasn't really that bothered about this statue. Um, I literally picked this up because it was cheap. When I say cheap, I mean real cheap. Um, so this originally retailed for $300 about three or four years ago, um, which is about probably then, about 220 quid. Um, it's limited to a thousand. Let's do all this while I can still remember it. This one's limited to a thousand. And then the later on they did an amber version where they changed the paint scheme of the actual Mosasaur and the base um, to an ambery glow, less grey, more, more, I don't know, it, it's almost like sepia toned. That one was also 300 bucks, but they limited it to 400. So there's 1,400 of these guys, a thousand in this colour, 400 in the amber. Um, I managed to pick this guy up for £170 delivered. Muhaha. And like I say, I really wasn't bothered about getting the most saw. Um, the sculpt looks okay, looked okay on videos and pictures, but I was never a fan because they didn't open his mouth. It just looks like, as um, one of my friends I was showing, it said it looked like a weird dolphin. Which is, you know, not true. Dolphins don't have flippers like that. It's ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, I think open mouth, showing the big teeth, would have been great. Um, all you can see at the moment is what looks like a rather phallic-looking fish. Um, so we will go down onto the base in a moment. But, yeah, like I say, I wasn't really... It's. Let me just get this out of the way. It's a nice statue. It's an okay statue. I can't believe anyone would be paying four or five hundred quid, which I've seen this piece go for. You know, it's um, it's majestic. It's not ferocious. And um, like I say, the paints on the back, and as you can see, all the spot patterns and stripes and stuff are very nice. The face is actually the face. Yeah, his face. I'm gonna go with face. His face is really well done. If I can just get in on the eye. It's nicely done. Got a nice face, but we will um, go down onto the base and then I'll try and zoom out as best as I can without breaking my tripod um, to show you the majestic Mosasaur, not the Momosaur. Let's can we got a little shark friend there? We got a little shark friend. Um, let's get down. Let's get down. We're gonna. Most of the detail on this base, uh, on this base, on this piece, is actually on the base. Um, so let's get let's get down and dirty with most sort. We're going to bring him right down, way, 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 way down. Here we go. As you can see, we've got a little shark friend here who just um, pegs into the back of the most sort. I don't know what sort of shark it is. I imagine, <coughs> excuse me, that it would be a great white because the most sort is huge. And I'm sure in Jurassic World they feed the most sort of great white. As you can see, we've got coral, we've got fish, we've got ammonites. I think that's what they're called. Ammonites, 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 which are actually a separate piece, so we can have a quick closer look at the ammonites. This piece of coral, 
it's all nicely done. The base is a bit wishy-washy on the paint. I find this most of these dinosauria pieces, or these later dinosauria pieces, I should say, because I think this one came out just before the new T-Rex, which I obviously just recently reviewed, and it came out just um, and the Gastonia was the last one, I think. Um, and the paints are just a bit wishy-washy. Um, excuse me. Um, a little bit flat. This big mushroom weed that's come off. As you can see, that looks better on camera. All the all the colours being picked up when and we've got a little fish weed under there i got to say I am a sucker for hidden details on a statue details you can't see but you know that they're there because you've put the statue together but anyone else looking wouldn't notice them and we have these pieces of coral um, which fall out because there's no magnets they are literally Big pegs. They do the job, you know, once it's on display. And then, of course, you've got the most sore tail coming down, it's actually pegs in there. Now, let me just show you something, guys. I'm going to pick this up at arm's length with my thumb and forefinger with relative ease. <laughs> this one, if you're a fan of statues that weigh a shit ton and you know, you don't know where to put them because they weigh so much. Get yourself a most saw. I can't imagine this weighs more than half a kilo, 750 gram total. Now I can understand that with the most saw itself because you know the pose it's in, it's on this thin piece of tail. Um, so the most saw is definitely hollow. It's got to be hollow. It would it would crush under its own weight. But the base usually we, they compensate with a heavy base to keep it stable. And don't get me wrong, this is totally stable, but. Um, yeah, the base is just as light. Doesn't bother me. Obviously, they thought it was structurally sound enough that they didn't need any part of it to be super heavy. And like I say, paints are everything. It's all about the paints. And unfortunately, the paints on this base aren't that great. And the paints on the most saw, the detail are really good. I would really like to see the amber one. The amber one introduced a few different colours, like the corals have got red, more reds and purples in it. Um, and a bit of this has changed but to be honest it's not the paint scheme it's the paint job it's not brilliant like I was saying about on the T-Rex base <coughs> excuse me um, it just feels a bit flat a bit cloudy a bit muffled a bit not muffled something to do with fucking muffling is it <laughs> a bit um, what's the word you know just a bit muted yes yeah, muted not muffled but the you know, shotgun or garlic's good. So, can I recommend this piece? Um, not for three, four hundred pounds, whatever it's going to cost you. For if you can get it for under two hundred, for around two hundred, maybe sub two fifty, you've got the rest of the dinosauria collection. I'd say get him. Maybe try the amber version. But damn, why didn't they open that jaw up, Sideshow? What were you thinking? But it is, um, it's a nice piece. It's very, um, you know, it's not like a lot of my pieces, which are, you know, big, bodacious anime pieces or video game pieces. I'm going to keep that in. I'm not even going to edit that bit out. Point it out in the comments if you watched up to that part. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's got a kind of um, craft store feel to it, which is no bad thing. But you know, like when you go in these places and they sell like the dragons and stuff, it's a bit like that. It looks like something you'd put in a fish tank. Um, I'm happy enough with it. You know, I, if you know if it comes down to room, eventually it will go. But, you know, it, it's filling the shelf for now. It's about 20 inches tall. You know, about oh, 8 by 8 depth and width. It's not a huge piece. And like I say, I'm really happy they've got it in hand because 
I know that if I'd got more pieces of Dan Soria and I'd seen it for around three, four hundred, I probably would have paid it. Um, I don't think it's worth it to be honest. I'm really happy with what I paid for it, and it's totally worth the one seventy. But um, I can't recommend it for a lot more retail or under. I'd say if you can get it for three hundred bucks or less, <coughs> go for it and keep your eye out for the amber version as well. Um, but yeah, it's a nice enough piece, but not a. Um, you know, it's not um, blowing blowing my socks off. Yeah, blowing my socks off. It's not doing that. But, um, you know, it's, it's gently pulling the socks off and caressing the feet. Which is always um, nice, isn't it? This has got weird quick. Okay, so let's talk about my next review. I should have had my Guyver by Prime 1 by now. Um, and it hasn't come. Um, Sideshow kind of fucked up the shipping a little bit. So he is due on Monday. Today is Friday night, Saturday morning. Um, so I'm going to get him Monday. I'm going to take a shitload of pictures of it. And I'm going to do a big review. And I mean a big review. This is going to be minimum 30 minutes, I imagine. There's a lot to go over on the statue. I want to talk a bit about the Giver. Because it's one of my favourite things in the world and always has been. <clears throat> All the information about the Giver and what, where to read, what to look at, anything like that. Merchandise, blah, 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 blah. And, of course, the statue, which has got a thousand PCs. It's incredibly, ridiculously huge. So we're going to spend 30 minutes, 40 minutes on this. I might even split the review in two. Who knows? Let's get fruity. Um, but, yeah, I've got that coming. And then a week later, Suguru from Kanikuman is shipping as well. So double prime one whammy. And then just before I filmed this review, I had a load of emails from Sideshow saying that a bunch of stuff's been delayed, um, which is um, okay, you know. It's going to be interesting to see which statue comes to the last of this year. If first figures can get their arses moving, we may see Solaire before Christmas and before New Year's. It's always nice to review one last statue of 2019 and see who that's going to be. I honestly thought it'd be Guy Zero, but I've just sent an email. He's been bumped to January, <laughs> so we'll see. Um, yeah, so there you go, guys. Reviews, Lots of reviews coming in. Um, and, of course... Um, I've just done filmed the um, talking about reboard dinosaurs, which is an odd video with me kind of don't know just talking. But you should be used to that by now. This is a remarkably short review, so I've done an incredibly long outro. Um, but there we go, lucky thirteen minutes, so we'll end it there. So um, yeah, keep your eyes in um, peeled, guys, for my Giver review and others coming soon. And um, yeah, keep watching, guys, and I'll keep making them. Okay. See you soon. Bye.